I just no. feel like it blowing my nose because... <laughs> Why did I call it blowing your nose, yeah? If no one's actually blowing your nose. Like, this is blowing your nose. One second. I'm blowing your nose. Oh, my Nasty, brother. innit? How can you have morning breath? <laughs> one second, though. You just blew my nose and you got a cold. <laughs> How can you... I'm going to get a cold now. You might do. But the thing is, sharing is caring. They teach you this in nursery. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Welcome to Comments Below. As you can see, Vuj is still not here, but my good friend Steve-O is here. What's going on, my G? I'm ill. You're going to have to take lead quite a bit For today. a small guy, you've got some strength. It is Comments Below, the show where you leave your comments below every single week and we review them, we discuss them. Also, talking about the week's football. Naveen says, y'all finally getting Pogba on FIFA and Chill. It's going to be lit as fuck. I mean, with a name like that, I don't know where Naveen you're from, considering Magical. the context of the way in which you spoke, but cool. Takeoff says, are you guys ever going to have a goal and get lit? With that Captain Morgan. What is there? By the way, is this in the shops legit with his face on it? No. Nah. <gasps> you okay? <laughs> yeah, water. Good for your daughter. Harbo says poet is tall. Ryan responds, cheers, Jeff. What an absolute hero. Um, last week we asked you if you preferred new Prem or old Prem. The old Prem, 100%. The long-range goals that were scored will probably never be reached in the Premier in the future. That's true. You take a look at Skulls' catalogue, mate. Mm -hmm. Skulls against Bradford, Skulls against Villa away. Villa. You know what? Skulls is a legend. I think you had better individual defenders back then, centre-halves. Yeah, Every team had a good centre-half, two centre-halves. But I think now, teams defend better as a team. Like there's, more, okay. you're more, there's more tactics and it's more technical. Therefore, you have to get closer to the goal to score. That's why there's not much long distance. That's, why, that's my thought. Let's move on to Manchester City. Man like Matthew says, thoughts on Man City. Real Madrid 4-1, defence looking solid for once. Hashtag have a nice, have a nice Mr Matthew. You done know my G. Um, yeah, well done City, man. Looking solid at the back, steve What do you reckon? Or is it just a friendly? Definitely just a friendly. Ten games into the season, it's when you see these premiership, these professional players really get into it. This literally is what it says it is. It's a pre-season, it's a warm-up. I don't think we should read too much into you beating Real Madrid 4-1 and beating Spurs 3-0. I think Man City know they got quality. We all know Man City yeah. got quality. It's just about turning it on when it counts. Leave comments to let us know, Man City fans, are you happy with the developments at Manchester City? Does Pep look like he finally has a side that is capable mm. of winning the Premier League for the first time since 2014? Do you think that they should go to their youth? Because they've got a lot of young... I've been and watched their youth team recently. They've got a lot of young players. Phil Foden. Yeah, I um, Phil Foden, to be fair. He... he Come on, guys. <laughs> um, I feel him too. So they've got a lot of good youngsters. But listen, I know it's not easy uh, to get in the team above Aguero. You can have the best striker in the world in your youth team. How are you going to get ahead of Aguero? It's like Zola was at Napoli, but in front of him was Maradona. He had to leave. And that's Zola. Yeah, leave comments and let us know, my Gs. Because I genuinely feel in my heart of hearts, that they should do the Michael Jackson R. Kelly thing. Think about the kids. But hey, what do you lot think? As we move on to Manchester United <laughs> getting an away win in I Norway. Man like Norway, cuz. Uh, winning 3-0. Manchester United looking very impressive in pre-season. Paul Pogba actually left a comment. Respect my G. He said, who the fuck needs Messi when you have me? Um, I mean, from the one experience I had talking to him, it doesn't really sound like the way in which he would express himself. But hey, do you really even know anyone in life? How can, how can he not own that name, by the way? I'm sure someone that knows about trademarking, old STMM. Um, yeah, for real. My G, you know, come No, 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 I've been sued, though. You've been sued? A, a company in, in Italy. ST, I don't even know. I'm, I'm not even going to mention it. I'll show you after. I'm getting sued. So I've had to pay solicitors, all of this, for my own name. But anyway, <laughs> I bet Paul Pogba owns that and he could probably get that taken down. Yeah, but like, this was probably just like a 12-year-old kid in Manchester. I don't care. These 12 year old Bro. kids, you're speaking to someone that gets a lot of criticism from a 12 year old kid, yeah? For my gap. There's one kid, he won't leave me alone. When I find this 12 year old kid, trust me. 12 year old kid with Paul Pogba as your name, keep it, cuz. Man is supporting don't you. I'm using STMM, that's what I'm saying. I'll sue you. Lukaku looks really, really good on preseason. Yes. Um, Man United on a whole look really, really good. The good thing about, I think, what Man United are doing, despite the fact they are winning pre-season games quite convincingly, take a look at the Man City one, as well as this one as well, they're still going out and strengthening. Yes. Apparently, they signed Matic. 
Perisic. Anyway, leave a comment, people, and let us know. Do you think Lukaku can hit the ground running? Manchester United, is it your season to mount a serious title challenge after finishing sixth last season? As we move on to the team that I support, and uh, Jamri Grant, you know, Arsenal 5, Benfica 2, Walcott with a brace. It's just like, I just think, who cares? Arsenal won the Emirates Cup. We created the cup. Not only have we created the cup, we've created the rules. So if we score loads of goals, we win the cup. We lost the final game. That team won both of their games, but they didn't win the Emirates <laughs> Cup. That says to me, that is not a competition I really want to take seriously. And one thing I will say, though, I'm very, very happy with the senior team members in Arsenal. So if you take a look at when we beat Bayern Munich, Petr Cech told everyone to calm down. He told the kids, calm down. You celebrate when you win a Premier League. Mm. This season, mm -hmm. you've got it all right for me no. so far. Decent. Decent. So why can't we go into the season and just be happy, Po? What's that, Arsenal fans? Yeah. They're not designed to be happy. What we need to understand is we need to be realistic as Arsenal fans. Mm -hmm. Something as simple as the, trans the transfer window and the contract fiasco. Ertzel hasn't signed a new contract, but it's committed. Sanchez hasn't signed a new contract. Chamberlain hasn't signed a new contract. And I'm hearing people say, Sanchez out, get rid of this person, they're not signed a new contract. My thing is this, boys. So you sell Ox for 15 and the other two for 30. We get a combined total fee of 75 million. Mm -hmm. We then have to go out and buy adequate replacements. Within two weeks. Within two weeks, who are probably not going to be in their final year of contract. So it's going to cost us more money than 75 mil. They need to adjust, adapt, and then hopefully we can get back into the top four. I think the alternative to the situation is looking at it from a financial standpoint and saying, we're going to get money if we get into the Champions League. We're going to get money if we finish high. We know this for a fact. So why don't we sacrifice the money we could sell and say, boys, let's look at that money as the money we will obtain if we get back in the Champions League and if we mount a serious title challenge. We will make that money back anyway. Also. So why not just keep the players there? It's their final year of contract. They have to play well because they're going to want to be in the World Cup. On top of that, why would it, it's in their best interest to say we'll leave after, we'll be fr um, after our contract's over? Because they can go where they want. They can get more money. So in my eyes, I think this is a perfect scenario for everyone. If they stay and do well, yeah. Next season, even if they go next season, getting players. It's going to be easier. Because not a lot of people understand you can keep a player and let him go and it still benefits your club. 100%. Everyone thinks getting rid of a player for free. Oh my God, he's gone for free. Are you kidding me? If you've got a pair of trainers or a pair of running spikes, but you know you're going to get rid of them, but you go and win the 100 metres and get the gold in them running spikes, then running spikes have done their job. Now you can get rid of them and give them away for free. Arsenal fans, let's be a little bit more positive. We saw what our negative energy done last season. Let's not be repetitive. Let's not do the same thing this season. You don't have to agree with me. This is the wonderful world in which we live in. God gave us free will. You're born into a world of sin. Leave a comment on anything to do with Arsenal's situation that you genuinely believe. And guess what? We'll speak about it here. As we move on to the El Clasico match that happened in Miami. Shout out JJ. He was there. My G. Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Real Madrid continue their poor form in Pre-season. I know it's an El Clasico, I wouldn't even call it that because it's pre-season in Miami. Like, do you know how mad it is when you play the El Clasico at the Bernabeu or at Newark Camp? It's, it's 10 times more intense. I'm not having this stuff, so... I'm we're still even... beef, though. Neymar was still out here trying to beef. Yeah, man. Neymar, I, I like that because you're a winner. When you're a winner, you, you beef at Monopoly, you beef in Champions League finals, World Cup finals. <laughs> Man's at Monopoly. Beef. Yeah, man. Man's had the biggest beef at Monopoly. Like, me and my brother in P-Jam, he punched the table. Oh, I love PJ. Oh, 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 bro, he's done that at uh, Pro Evo. He's done it at Monopoly. I don't play games with him no more. Alex says, as a Barca fan, I'd be stupid to want Neymar gone. However, if he goes, I wouldn't mind trying to focus on the young academy prospects. Return to the club culture Barca was known for. Jamie Grant says, what are your thoughts on the Neymar situation? Now, I felt like this Neymar situation was just a way. It's clickbait, trying to sell some, like, sell some papers, so on and so forth. But there are a couple of things now to take into consideration. Neymar has cancelled some of his um, media mm -hmm. he has to do in Asia. He also got into an altercation with a teammate at a training camp. You begin to wonder, are some of these stories true, Steve? Do I think he's unsettled? Do I think the more and more situations that happen, will it unsettle him even more? Yes. Because what's going to happen is he's going to get fined soon or something's going to go, the club's going to discipline him. Yeah. And then he's going to feel away. He's going to feel away. I go, how can you discipline me? I'm the best. Then they're going to tell him, you're not the best. Messi's the best. Then it's going to hit home. He's not the best. But I still don't think he should go to Paris. That's my opinion. Everyone, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about Neymar's potential departure from Barcelona. Good for Barca, bad for Barca, decent for PSG. Good for business. 161 mm -hmm. million, world record fee. England women, France women in the Euros. England beat France 1-0. 
Taylor got the goal. Do you like women's football? Um, I haven't actually taken the opportunity for me to actually watch it, so I'm actually impartial. I don't, I don't really know if I like it or I don't like it. I take little bits of notice. It's definitely on the up. Some of the girls, technically, are incredible, bro. What do you think about England's chances of actually progressing, getting to the final and win the Euro Definitely championship? good enough. Well, to be fair, with this lineup, Netherlands, we've got Netherlands, Denmark got Austria. I really believe we can get um win this. We're gonna win the Euros. These teams ain't the greatest teams, man. Well, excuse my ignorance, everyone, yeah. of women's football. Steve knows a little bit more than me. Not How a about lot. the Copper fam? Leave some comments to let us know what you think, because we care about everyone playing football here. Under sixties, women, old people. Bananas, whoever can play football, go for it, my GGs. I'm out here to support. All right, so Ask Poet and Vuj, I'm afraid, is suspended until next week because, as you can see, the person to my left is actually black. But Vuj did do something, Stephen, that you can talk to us about. Yes, he did. Our yeah. friend Vuj yeah. was in a top 11 prank video with Jose Mourinho. One more, one more, one more. One more. One from you. How can you reassure the fans that you are the right person to lead this club? Yeah. You can see the link in the description. Anyway, let's do some chance to round up, people. Also, my collection of tissues that I've blown my nose. That is mad in the bogey. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Let's go through some of <laughs> these transfers. Right, Chikorito to West Ham, 16 million. Absolute bargain. You've got to take a look at someone that has won the Premier League, has gone abroad, has scored goals in the Champions mm -hmm. League. West Ham cannot get relegated. How is he cheaper than Anatovic, though? I love Anatovic, but you've got Chikorito, proven Premiership goal scorer. This is what me and Ross were arguing about on Twitter the other day. I just genuinely feel when business involves Premier League clubs... <laughs> it's more. Or English talent, it's more. more. Okay. Yet, when it's an individual who has proven quality, okay, he's a little bit older now, but he's a proven goal scorer, not just in Germany, also in England with yes. Manchester United, he's 16 million. Doesn't make sense. Uh, I Mendy to Man City, left back for 52 million. I didn't even know he was a left back. <laughs> Remember, I don't even know who he is. But for 52 million, he must be good. That's what All I'm right, saying. the rumours we've got here is Coutinho to Barcelona if Neymar goes. Is that a good bit of business for Liverpool because they'll receive 86 million? Or is the timing so poor it can't be good business? That sort of business for me, just like if Arsenal want to sell those players, that sort of business has got to be. Done in June. On, in June, but started to get done from January. Is he a um, replacement for Neymar? Hell bloody no. How about Renato Sanchez to Chelsea on loan? Incredible. Like, this kid, how is he not playing at, 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 at um, Bayern Munich? Bro, I'll take him at Arsenal now. But he's built for the Prem. I'll take him at Arsenal yesterday. Winston Reid to Everton. Fuck off. Okay, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Don't touch and winning. The rumour that kind of went mad on Twitter on a mad thing. Oh my God, he took a selfie. Yeah. yeah. Matic to Manchester United. If he has not signed, yeah, isn't this as bad as when Paul Ince took a picture in the Man United shirt? And he's crucified, he's not allowed to come back near West Ham. By the way, that Captain Morgan's oh, shit on my nizzle. That is repeating. That's bad, man. So I hope, for Matic's sake, he has signed, because I don't like to see players being unloyal. Okay. But if he has signed as well, oh, but Mourinho again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Mourinho. All right, leave a comment, let us know about all those transfers confirmed, as well as rumours. My tissue count is going up. I am now on nine tissues. Uh, now it's time for us to point to the camera and say, what, what a, a guy. guy. All right, let's go through these quite quickly. We have Burn Bulls, who says, Kamal Lawrence takes a free kick for Jamaica in the last minute of the game, right outside the box, and he scored the winning goal against Mexico in the CONCACAF Gold Cup semi-finals, leaving the score 1-0. Now Jamaica are off to the finals to play USA, which we lost. Peace Murray, what a guy to poet. He was in Charlie XCX boys' music video. What a guy to Conor McGregor saying he is a red. Who's what that? type of red? What is that, Leah? Mr. Like Roberts, Joaquin. what a guy to Dizzy to drop in a fire album. Okay. Sand here. What a guy to point for wearing a Hello Kitty hat. That is absolutely good. You don't know my Yellow Kitty hat? Come on, cuz. What a guy for Vuj to read in too fast for the picture to comment up. What did he do? He reads these comments so fast that you can't even see it coming up. Rakan, what a guy to point for getting signed. What a guy for reals. Oh, thank you. Come on, Kaz. Man, I'm trying to get signed, Kaz. Oh, my God. Tavuj, who created a hashtag to help his mate finally score against him in the intro. Friendship goals. What a hero. Mona to Neymar for dropping 18.6k on sneakers shopping by Complex. Wow. What? Chris, he says, what a guy to Real Salt Lake head coach Mike Petke for going on an epic run after the RSL Sporting KC match about the terrible officiating in the MLS. 
and handing out the slides of all bad calls in the past week to all the media reporters at the post-game press conference. You get in trouble for that, though. hundred percent. The footy lad, for myself, going skinny because it's bants and guaranteeing I won't get a girl this summer. Do you know what, Don? I love you. Steve-O, um, as you're an individual who's a guest on the show, I think it's only right you have the privilege of choosing what a guy Well, it definitely isn't Neymar for spending $8.6,000 on sneakers, dickhead. I'm sorry. Wow. Do what you want with your money, though. Yeah, But you're not a what a guy, fucking hell. Um, I'm going to give it to Poet. Seriously? Yeah, Poet. Poet for getting signed, man, and, and the whole of the... Uh, Viva crew, man. 100% would have given it to Footy Lad. I think getting, getting a skinhead and guaranteeing no girls for the summer is an absolute brave, brave thing to do. All right, let's move on to quickly this week on social. Two twos now. Yes, we've got Peter Crouch is a boss. Someone goes, how many seasons until you break Shearer's record? He said, I've worked it out at a retirement age in England is 65. Isn't it so harsh? Just... He's the number one tweeter. Him or Matty uh, Bushiswai, whatever his name is. Oh. But for me, it's Peter. Gilly Enia says, tell me something I don't know. When you spell out the numbers one, two, three, you won't reach the letter A till 1,000. That, do you know what? And that is on bare retweets and favourites right now. What it's is it? What? I don't get it. Can you break that down? If you count one, two, three, four, just you keep counting, you never get a letter A in anything until you come to 1,000 where it has an A in it. Fuck. Wow. In yeah, response yeah. to Stormzy's tweet, Stormzy said, I'm 24 in Australia, I'm still 23 in London. He said, I'm 20 in my house, but I'm 14 on the train. That is an absolute <laughs> incredible tweet. Yes, bump that. Emily says, wow, free tattoos, those are pr pretty permanent, you know? Me, wow, free kids, those are pretty damn... Do you know what? Twitter is the undisputed champion. Tissue count, pretty decent. Remember, Copper fan, oh. if you... That is disgusting. Oh. If you are ill, make sure you have Lemsip. It definitely helps. And use tissues. Copper fam, the Premier League season is so, so close. I can smell it. What we do have is a community shield. Make sure you leave all your comments. Vuj will be back on Thursday to with everything transfers. And this time next week, we'll be speaking about the community shield of Arsenal and Chelsea. Until next week, everyone. Oh, shit. Just remember, because you've eaten KFC doesn't mean you've eaten three letters. Take care. Are you okay? Yeah. Let's go to the doctors. Fam! You're disgusting, you know. Even though it's got snot on it. <laughs> Good show, pub.